Well, hello, this is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to video 4 of the Gas Venting with Table series. In today's video, we're going to be covering GVR C23 and C24. But if you have not watched the first three videos, go ahead and do that, otherwise this will not make sense. All code references will be made from the B149.1 Natural Gas and Propane Installation Code by CSA of Canada, and I'm using the 2015 edition. To illustrate our first GVR, let's do a sizing example. I have a single draft out equipped appliance that's 75,000 BTUs. It has a two foot lateral and a 15 foot vent height, and it has a double wall vent connector with a double wall vent. That means I need to go to table C1, and I go to a 15 foot vent height, two foot lateral, I go across to four inch, and that is good to 80,000 BTUs on NAT DP. Therefore, four inch will be my size, but notice, the drafted outlet is 5 inches. Can we do this? GVR C23 talks about a scenario where the vent sizing table suggests that the size of the vent or vent connector can be smaller than the actual draft hood outlet or flue collar of a gas appliance. There are a few requirements that we need to follow in order to be able to do this. The first one is, the vent height needs to be at least 10 feet tall. If we look at our first example, the vent height is in fact 15 feet, so we have met the first requirement. The next two requirements come down to sizing. If the size of the draft hood outlet or flue collar is 12 inches or less, we may reduce by one table size. However, if that size is greater than 12 inches, then we can reduce by two table sizes. And in my example, I have a 5 inch draft hood outlet, so I would only be able to reduce by one table size. The last requirement is specifically for draft hood equipped appliances, and that says that that draft hood needs to be greater than 4 inches, which we are, we're 5, so I can reduce by one table value, which is 4 inches. For my next example, I have a 75,000 BTU fan assisted furnace going into a 2 foot lateral, and it has a 15 foot vent height. There is a 5 inch flue collar on this unit and it also is a double wall vent connector going into a double wall vent. So first of all, let's size this thing. So we are back into table C1 because I have a single appliance with a double wall vent connector. If I go down to 15 foot vent height and a two foot lateral I come across, I'm looking at fan min max. Three inch is not good enough, but four inch is. My vent height is 15 feet, which is greater than 10. So I've met that requirement. I'm at five inches, so I should be able to reduce by one table value only, so down to four inch. Now what doesn't apply here though, is the minimum size. With the draft hood equipped appliance, it was minimum five inch or greater than four. That only applies to draft hoods. This is fan assisted, so that rule does not apply. I could have a four inch fan assisted and reduce down to three if these other requirements are met. Now we have one requirement for fan assisted models only. We actually have to derate the table value, the max table value, by 10% and ensure the BTU load of the furnace still falls within that. Now the reason for this is because of the way the fan assisted model works, it generally will have a smaller vent, which is more restrictive. So we want to make sure that under all conditions that this is going to work properly. This is why they've made this GVR. Now the math for this is fairly easy because the GVR tells us exactly how to do it. First of all, we need to take our fan max value, which is 136,000 BTUs, and multiply it by 0.9 like it tells us in the GVR. And when I do the math on that, I get 122,400 BTUs. Now my furnace is 75,000 BTUs, it's still within that category, therefore 4 inch is perfect. I can reduce from a 5 inch flue collar to the 4 inch. GVR C24 talks about the maximum amount of 90 degree bends we can put into a vent connector, and that is 2. If I look at this picture here, I have a 90 degree elbow in the vent connector, and I also have a 90 degree bend where it hits the T here into the vent. So I've maxed out with this picture. So my sizing example here is a little tricky to see, so I'll describe it to you. I have a hot water tank on the left, which is 55,000 BTUs. It has a three foot vent connector rise and it has 45 degree offset there. So 45 plus 45 is 90 degrees. I've got another 90 degrees bending off in towards the T and a further 90 degrees going off into the T. So I have one extra elbow there. 
The furnace on the right is fan assisted. It is 200,000 BTUs. It has a three foot vent connector rise and it has two elbows plus a 45. So we're gonna pretend that 45 degree offset is actually a 90 just to keep this example more simple. So both of these appliances have one extra 90 degree bend in it that we need to account for. Now both of them are sharing a 15 foot vent because I have more than one appliance sharing a common vent and the vent connectors are both single wall, I need to look to table C4 to size this up. Let's start with a draft hood equipped water heater. I come down to 15 foot vent height, across on three foot vent connector rise, and I'm looking for NAT DP. Now this unit was 55,000 BTUs, and I can go up to 60,000 BTUs on four inch. But now we need to check it with the special GVR rule. GVR C24 tells me that I need to derate the table values for a draft hood equipped appliance by 10% for each extra 90. So in order to do that, I need to take the table value of 60,000 BTUs that we already looked at and derate that by 10% or multiply it by 0.9. Well, that gives me 54,000 BTUs. Well, guess what? My appliance is 55,000 BTUs. So I can no longer use four inch for this. I have to use five inch instead. Well, let's look at that 200,000 BTU fan assisted furnace. So on table C4, I come down to 15 foot vent height across on three foot vent connector rise. And I go all the way over to six inch where I see that fan min max brings me to a maximum of 243,000 BTUs. Now GVR C24 says I need to derate this as well, but it's a different value because it's fan assisted. GVR C24 tells us that if we have a fan assisted model with more than two 90 degree elbows, that we need to derate the table values by 15% for each extra 90 degree elbow. Now, in order to do that, I need to take the maximum table value, which was 243,000 BTUs, and multiply it by 0.85. And that equals 206,550 BTUs, which is still more than my 200,000 BTU furnace, so six inch is still good enough. What this GVR does not affect is the sizing of the common vent. That will still be done the typical way that I showed you in the last video where we just add up the BTU load, which would be 255,000 BTUs, and look at the second part of table C4. If you look at it correctly, you should get seven inches as your answer. Well, you can give yourself a giant pat on the back because you just made it to the end of this video. Stay tuned for video five where we talk about even more GVRs. Until then, have a wonderful day.